sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sim if this is your first time of coming across this channel so uh, kindly smash that subscribe button and turn your notification so you are notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all so much and i'm saying a very big shout out to every one of you for the love the support you all shower me here with i am grateful and you all are super sweet to all my members a very big shout out to you so today there is a video circulating all over and that video is not a very good one and now this is how you see there are things you see and you are in shock like somebody intentional because that video was intentional the person did it on purpose and looking at an old person doing something like this to a child and i mean got me really all worked up i am really mad because number one is that uh, some people read the season has eaten so deep in them in them like in them that there is no longer going out they are giving medals right sport i think they are gymnasts right they are giving medals she get medal from the beginning till i think to the third or fourth the girl is probably between fourth or fifth she skipped the girl to the next person right and then share the medal from there down and ended up she, each time she comes closer to the girl she will pass her and move around a black girl without giving her the medal and it happened to she finished she finished giving the medals she knew one was left and that is for the girl she still refused to give it and now let's get into the people that were standing the people that were standing right in front of that girl saw the woman sharing all that and did not call her back to give that girl murder they are also part of the problem because some people have this horrible attitude that i don't think they will ever change where to the season is really like you know has eaten so deep in their blood system that there is no longer going back i am rolling this clip we'll come back to talk about it let me know what you all think in the comment section so straight up let's get into it I have literally <laughs> had a hard time making this video. Watching that little girl's disappointment as she watched everybody get an award but her little brown skin. I felt that. I felt that. And I wish I knew who she was so I could let her know, baby, I see you and I love you and you did amazing. So to any little brown boy or girl that the world is trying to defeat them and tell them that they're not good enough work a little harder 10 times harder i want you to know that i see you my babies to all my kings and queens i see you my babies to all my unmelanated people watch that video and if you do not feel something in your spirit you be blessed so yesterday Different persons, different sources sent me this disturbing and heart-wrenching video that left me completely devastated, traumatized, and grief-stricken. In fact, I was wrenched and heart heavy-hearted all day. Now, if you watched the video with rapt attention, you would understand that it appears the event there appears to be an award ceremony for a gymnastics competition. Now, in the video, it seems like one of the young athletes, a girl of African descent, or should I say a black girl, was, was treated differently. Now, let me not sound too politically correct. Let me just go straight to the point. The truth is that she was discriminated against and denied a medal while her peers her white peers received theirs now for the benefit of the doubt i am acutely aware that a brief video of that nature may only provide a fraction of the story and that a lot of truths will then come to my comment sections to ask me if i saw the full video and start trolling so as a dedicated advocate for justice and an objective journalist I firmly believe in the power of comprehensive reporting, which often requires me digging beyond the surface. So I decided to investigate 
the incident. Now, although the rubrics on all of the video I saw said it happened in Ireland, it was unclear what the event was all about. But in the video, I was able to read what was written on a lady's tracksuit. It read DP Gymnastics. So I looked up DP Gymnastics and contacted them directly, requesting an interview to provide insight into the circumstances surrounding this incident. Surprisingly, DP Gymnastics responded immediately, distancing themselves from the incident and then revealed that it wasn't a club event. That is, it wasn't a DP Gymnastics club event, but an event from over 18 months ago organized and run by Gymnastics Ireland. Now, here is where it gets interesting. They also admitted that they are aware of the issue and that it has been resolved between the family of the black athlete and Gymnastics Ireland and that Gymnastics Ireland had just released a statement that was yesterday, 22nd of September about this. So I visited Gymnastics Ireland's website and found the press release that sheds light on the situation. According to the statement, they received a complaint from the parents of one of their members alleging racist behavior by an official. They immediately investigated, according to the release, they immediately investigated the matter and even identified the official responsible. Now, they say the official admitted that what happened was it intentional and issued a written apology to the competitor and her family. You see? So this corroborates what we saw in the video. Blatant racism in 2023. In the eyes of hundreds of spectators, if not thousands and millions online. Now, how could she miss that girl? She was the only black girl there with the most beautiful and expansive smile, full of expectations, waiting to receive her medal. Now, you see, when a dastardly act of this nature is judged through the simplistic prism of right and wrong, it flattens it. She admitted it was wrong, but wasn't intentional. So, case closed. Now, what about the scar she left on that girl? Now, lest I forget, in the press release, they also state the official concerned said that upon realizing the mistake, not her mistake, but the mistake, whatever, she immediately rectified it and ensured that the black girl was presented with her medal before she left the field of play, which means she was later given her medal backstage, far away from the loving eyes of her loved ones and families who wanted to experience that moment. An act cruel, barbaric, savage, cold-blooded, and inhuman enough to traumatize that little girl for the rest of her life. Anyways, if to say that my Peking Sha, God no say, I for don't they kill it, kill it by now. And then for those they sing, Ile lo lo, tarara, Ile lo lo, tarara, for some of them. Now back to the story. Of all the nonsense and claptrap in that statement, this part is the most infuriating, the most annoying. Let me read. It said, subsequently, both parties agreed to enter mediation, which was independently facilitated by Sports Dispute Solutions Island as per our policy procedure which led to a resolution agreed by both parties in August 2023. Now, an incident that happened in March 2022, 18 months ago, it was just in August here that it was resolved. Why? Was it difficult for them to understand that their staff was racist? Was it difficult for them to accept that despite all the photographers and other officials who were, of course, white, according to the video, was it difficult for them to understand that no one stepped in to help that little girl out of that trauma and misery? This is not the first time we have seen cases like this. We have seen this kind of deplorable act against black children. Yet, they keep overlooking all the holes in the story. You know why? Because 
they somehow find some sweetness in it. I don't know why it's difficult for them to just take responsibility whenever something like this is done to a black child or a black person. You see them always beating about the bush. They have there's a lot of neologism today. They come up with a lot of words. It's not this, it's not that, it's this, it's that. Instead of you to just accept, take responsibility and let it be treated so that this racism should stop. But because you and your families are not affected by racism, that is why you see it as something that is not serious. Most of the time, you don't even know that you are racist. It's something inborn. They just do it. They just act it like probably that woman, probably she really did it intend to be racist to that girl. But it's just who she is. She's racist. It's inborn. Like she just did it. Anyways, the story doesn't end here. I'm committed to providing you with a comprehensive understanding of this incident. I have reached out to Gymnastics Ireland for further insights and I'm determined to get to the bottom of this, although they have not responded. But stay tuned for updates as we uncover the truth together. So let's keep this conversation alive in the comment sessions. Share your thoughts and questions and please be polite. Because as I say yes, so I divest. Please be polite and don't be rude in your comments. Let it be constructive, then we will discuss it. While I await response from Gymnastics Island, let's keep our fingers crossed. And I'm also trying to get in touch with the parents of the girl if I can get an interview with them. Backstory, the setting is in Ireland. There is a gym gymnastics competition of some sort. They are now handing out medals. Literally everyone gets a medal minus the black girl. That's the story. When the disrespect happens publicly, the reprimand needs to be just as public. Let, let me say it again. When the disrespect happens publicly the reprimand needs to happen just as public just as loud actually louder stand up for yourselves it, racism exists because we allow it to racism works because we allow it to because we have decided oh let, let's just pray about it put our heads down and take the higher road bullshit do something do something god gave you a mouth and you legs and feet to do something get up up enough it only works because of that's what i mean there's no excuse in it when the woman passes the black girl she clearly has the medal in her hand so she is clearly intentional that she's seen her and has withdrawn a medal and then walked away and then given medals given medals given medals given medals and then she finally runs out of medals for the i think it's like two or three girls at the end walks away and then comes back with medals now, again, I know the statement is showing that at some point before the end of the competition, she does give a medal to the to the girl um, who's left out, probably because there was pressure. Again, I've not seen that video, so I can't comment on that. But regardless of that, why would you intentionally miss her out to give her? It, like, it, it doesn't make sense. Everyone else got a, a medal apart from that girl. And that girl was in, it wasn't even like, do you know what I mean? There's, there's no way you could have missed it has to be intentional. Sort of like, you know, in a football when it's rival teams and you go and you're shaking hands and there's someone you've got beef with and then you don't shake their hands. It's not like a mistake. It's it's intentional. Um, so, yeah, I just feel sad for this girl. And I know it happened 2022 or 18 months ago, so March 2022. Um, and we're only seeing this now, but imagine how this girl felt. Um, so, yeah, again, I don't know how old this girl is, so I don't want social media to really find this girl per se um do you know what i mean I, I don't want to be bringing loads of heat to this to this girl and wanted attention she's probably moved on past this point but these are the microaggressions unfortunately in this day and age kids have to go through um you know i remember i so it's it's one thing to, to have racism from kids right but for it to come from adults it's just un, unacceptable like why are you so intent on you know breaking a kid's innocence there's enough there's enough horrible stuff in the world. Let kids be kids, you know. And I can tell it. You can tell at that moment whether she's had any issues before or not. That that innocence was broken. Do you know what I mean? And the the thing with this is, with racism, there's no safe spaces. Do you know what I mean? She's at a gymnastics competition. She's there with her teammates. 
Johnny Black Girl on the on the team, she's not expecting to have a hostile racist um encounter with none other than a, a, an official. So yeah, as as I say guys, I've read the statement, I don't care about the statement. There's no excuse. All the sympathizers in the comments, to be fair, there's not many, there's only the odd one or two. Cry all you want to. But this official, as I said, and I keep saying it, TikTok, do your thing. This is what I mean. I, I, I've seen quite a few comments from people saying it. Oh, it's, why are you dropping the conclusions? What a conclusion could you make? Girl, young black girl, in the middle. Everyone else gets a medal. As soon as it gets to her, it's like the official sort of hesitates, looks at her, then walks away. Does it come back to her? Now, again, I know people are saying, well, she came back to her at some point. That's not what we see in the video. Regardless of whether she came back to her and gave her a medal after there was pressure put on her or other... She, the girl, why, why, why would she have to wait? There's no physical reason. If anyone can let me know in the comments why that girl would have had to wait for a medal and why hers had to come later than everyone else's when she wasn't at the end of the queue, then by all means let me know in the in the comments. If you don't have a reason, then it's pretty right to assume. Like a lot of, the, I don't know why people get so pressed. Like things, up more time than not, if it is what it is, that's what it is. Meaning. If it looks like racism, it probably was racism. If it, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't get why so many people are trying to say, well, you don't know it's racism, it's not. Why are you so offended that people are calling out what it is? That's exactly what it is, you know? And that's racist in itself. The racists are more offended that you call it racist than the actual thing being racist. It boggles my mind, like... Think, think about how that little girl was feeling, probably is feeling to this to this day. But I keep seeing people running to the defence of the official. What What's to def defend? Like, I, it, I, the mindset, it just, it just boggles my mind. Do you know what I mean? This, this little girl's been abused. And the first thing a lot of you are coming, not a lot of you, to be fair, it's a small minority, but the first thing I see these minority, oh, don't, don't, act, don't act like animals, don't. Don't jump to conclusions. What other conclusion is there to jump to? Do you know what I mean? I, I I would have thought the the standard justified human thing to do would be to protect a young girl who on this occasion has, has been wronged by an adult. I thought that's just a standard. And the majority of people seem to get it, but I'm, I'm seeing a few people who are just, I don't know how their brains work, but they, they're so in denial or they, they just, they don't want to accept and they're trying to look for blame in people who are just raising awareness to this. As I say, I saw, I don't have an agenda. I watched the video. Like everyone else, to me, pretty clear as day, official was racist, didn't want to give the girl a medal when everyone else got a medal. I didn't like the video, I wanted to show awareness, I reposted it. So, to every gammon who keeps claiming it wasn't racist, it is racist. And if you've got a problem with people like me calling it out, maybe you need to look at yourself. Why are you more hurt about me shedding light to it? And being hurt about the fact that this little girl was left out when everyone else got a medal. Sort yourself out, man. Oh, but to everyone else who's, do you know what I mean, has a normal mindset, keep boosting. We want TikTok to do its thing. I woke up this morning now thinking I was going to be upset by the internet, but here we are. There is a video that is uh, circulating online about a gymnastic event that happened in Ireland. Apparently it happened a couple of months back, over a year back, but it's about discrimination, racism. It's made my blood boil. Watch it and see. You see that the white girl was missed and then she went back and she gave her a medal. And towards the end, she had a spare medal dangling. She didn't even look to see if everyone got a medal and she walked away. And then they were taking, uh, taking a group photo and there were two, I think there were two adults there standing there and none of them even pointed out that this black girl did not get her medal. Like what the app? Apparently there was some apology afterwards or some, I don't know how long afterwards that it was noted that she didn't get her medal, but it's just absolutely ridiculous. And it's so, it's, um, Honestly, if I did not see that happen on video, I would have never ever believed that something like that would happen, still happen in this country. There are loads of black people in Ireland and we're going to take work in sports, in academics, in every area we want to and we're going to thrive. While on live last night, a number of people had asked me, had I seen the DK 
Gymnastics Ireland video. This was a video where all the girls that had been competing were receiving their medals. And there was a lady going down the row giving out the medals to the children. But she passed one child and didn't give her a medal. And as she approached, the girl looked really excited. Like all the other little girls waiting their medals, she looked really, really happy. However, she was passed out and they moved on to the next child. Now, while all the other girls were getting their medals, this girl who had been passed out kind of stepped forward a little bit, kind of looked left, kind of looked right, talked to the girl next to her. And she was kind of going, where's my medal? Still smiling. But then at one point you see her face just drop. She realises she's not getting a medal. Now, it's not like she shouldn't have got a medal. Absolutely, she should have. But it looks like that the lady handing out the medals deliberately didn't give her a medal because she was a girl who was not white. The video is circulating throughout the internet and I'm just wondering who is the woman that did this to that child? There's been a lot of people asking who she is and somebody will definitely know who she is. This happened in March of last year, so March 2022. And as far as we know, she still works at events with Gymnastics Ireland. Now, Gymnastics Ireland have come out with a statement saying that, you know, they did offer mediation to the family because they did obviously bring the complaint to them to say, why was she singled out like that? And um, they say it's resolved, but they didn't at any point say that they do not tolerate racism on any level whatsoever. And I've left a link to that statement in my bio. So in my link tree, you'll see a link to that statement and you can read it and kind of decide what you think yourself. But for me looking at it, it definitely looked like it was a racist, racially motivated singling out of this young girl. And it looked, it just looked so upsetting. Like for me, I found it upsetting. I never had to live with something like that, but I found it distressing to watch. You could see the little girl, the excitement in her face, and then you could see her kind of wondering, and then just dropped. Her smile just dropped. <sighs> what have we done? What are we doing? Like, how are we allowing this kind of treatment of children? I don't get it. I saw this last night and um, I couldn't sleep. Because every time I closed my eyes, I saw this baby getting her heart broken. And for what? So some white woman could feel good. So, did a little digging, and there's their contact info. This is the gym where the incident occurred. And if you go to their website, um, So this is all I got from the stitches and I don't know how I felt when I saw this because that was a deliberate uh, act and I am going to leave the link in the comment section so you all can see it for yourself. I do not want to like put everything here because there are, you know, minors and all of that. That was a very deliberate act. The person did it on purpose because I don't see how you gave everybody from beginning to where she was, then you passed her. Then started from the next person. I mean, she, they passed her to the next person and passed her until the last time. And then not just only that, the photographers and the person standing in front of that, they knew what was going on. And the fact that they did not call her attention to it. They are also part of the problem that we have facing in this world. I don't know how that girl felt at that moment. I felt so sad because she was like, I mean, looking, I mean, no way you, she kept looking. She was uncomfortable. She was like, I, I saw everything. She was just waiting for a help to come. She was sincerely waiting for somebody to like, you know, come over with a medal. And she, she kept looking around, looking, you know, to see if she could get her. And then she ended up not getting the medal. Probably she got it at the backstage. At the backstage. See, one thing with racism is that it is so deep in the system that some people knew what they are doing. But then they lie about it. And there is no amount of lie they are going to tell on this or try to cover up 
that would justify what they did. What they did was pure. The person that did that thing is pure evil. Because if that poor little child could experience that at this age, I'm okay. What am I supposed to even newborn before they were born? What am I saying? They get their first share in the hospital. But that is a very terrible thing for an adult. You know, you can imagine if the table turn like it's a black person doing this. I mean, the media would all be all over, like looking for a way to kill somebody, like, you know, things like that. But I am sure a lot of people are also reacting to this, sharing it or posting it because it's not a good, it is not a good video to start with. It is not a very, it is not a good video. And the people that are part of it, I hope you all get your own share one day, one day. Because like, I don't know why that little girl had to go through what she went through right there. I don't know what was running through her mind, her brain and all of that. I mean, and it's the fact it happened that it's a bigger person, an old person, an older person doing something like this to a child. I don't blame you all. Let me know what you all think in the comment section. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.